What's going on guys? National Master James Canty the third here with chess.com and today we have game of the day with the computer chess championships with the white pieces we have Komodo and with the black pieces we have Leela Chess Zero. Let's get right into it. Here we go e4 and e5. Knight of three, knight c6. Bishop c4 and bishop c5. An Italian game, a Joko piano, a quiet game. Many names to this, but sometimes these games aren't as quiet as they say they are. After bishop c5, there's c3 here, intending d4, just getting a big center, threatening a bishop that's already out developed. Now, after knight of six, we're just saying, hey, play d4 anyway. And if you capture, capture, we might just go bishop b4 check and take on e4 and have a good game. Now, after d3, which is the more position Traditional, just slow methodical way of playing I'm going to get my pieces out and then I'm going to try to push d4 eventually even expanding on the queen side with moves like b4 and a4 so after d3 d6 we're just going to push a pawn in the center lock the bishop outside the pawn chain like the light square bishop did as well and open our bishop up for potential attacks castles and then a6 here very multi-purpose type move here b5 but also the biggest thing is bringing the bishop back to a7 and we're going to sit here and be a monster for forever as long as the bishop b3 doesn't come in now rook to e1 and then bishop to a7 he does or she Leela chess actually brings the bishop a back to a7 here and eyeing this big diagonal what we call here is a snake in the grass guys if you don't see the snake in the grass and you step on it or you come near it what's going to happen it will bite you you wouldn't even know it so this bishop here is doing exactly that sitting from the other side of the board a4 expanding on the queen side stopping queen side expansion um and tempo well for black here which was, which would be b5 so a4 is played and then castles and h3 stopping bishop g4 and also knight g4 which could be extremely annoying and if bishop to e3 would easily just take with our knight so h3 is played and then bishop to e6 you would sometimes you would see h6 here more of the human like move this is why they call it a quiet game because they kind of do the same moves back and forth minus the knight and the pawn being in different squares here if the, this would be a absolutely symmetrical if the knight was on c3 but there's this knight on c6 and the pawn on c3 makes it just slightly different so instead of h6 bishop to e6 here guys and this is something that you can take uh for your own games so that you can understand what you're playing and then actually have better games here bishop to e6 is not the scariest looking move it, it honestly is a very good move guys and if bishop takes well don't worry about the double pawns here as you see we already have the rook file and the bishop here as well are um, I and the F2 square indirectly as an x-ray, but also the center pawns actually give uh, extra protection. And we can undouble our pawns later with a move like D5. And then we have actually a strong center while opening the F file. So very strong move here from Lila Chess 0. Bishop to a6 and knight to a3 here, saying that if you capture, I'm just going to bring my knight to c4. So that's why they say sometimes to take is a mistake. You don't always want to just capture just because there is a capture there. As you see, bishop takes e6 was not played just yet. And then h6 here, now we're like, okay, you know what? No bishop g5s, no knight g5s at all. So we play h6. And now, surprising move, actually, bishop takes e6 is now on the board. And then after f takes e6, there's a lot of play for black here. Uh, of course, d5 is a move. You also have the open rook file here. So there's things that you have to watch out for with the white pieces. And then b4 from Komodo. B4 is a, just an expansion move on the on the uh, queen side of the board, maybe playing C4, bishop B2, even B5, just to get some space. And then here we go. We break open with D5, says Leela Chess. Zero here. Now, this pawn is hanging, guys. Chess is simple math. Two versus one. So, of course, white's going to win this pawn, but that's at a cost. If something like E takes D5 and E takes D5, then knight takes E5, and then knight takes E5, we have bishop takes F2. Then king takes F2 and knight G4 with a double check and also a discovery on the e5 let's actually put that on the board here so you guys could see that bishop takes f2 knight to g4 with a double check nasty here and after the king moves knight takes e5 ouch right so that's very scary and, and also looking at this position the pawns are now very very strong e4 could be a threat and again guys this is a very very a realistic threat something's going on here on this diagonal so instead of taking on d5 we see queen to e2 here actually just defending getting the queen off of the file as well maybe putting some extra pressure here let's see what happens knight h5 beautiful move here from Leela chess zero i really like this move here guys intending moves like knight to f4 and knight to g3 and also opening the rook file let's see what happens next Rook to b1 here, just putting a rook on the file, getting some extra pressure here. Play on the side that you're strongest on, and white is strongest on the queen side right now, so there is some queen play there. 
in queen side play knight to g3 beautiful move here um intending i'm just hitting the queen very simple but you cannot take my knight because the snake on the other side of the board will bite you and also it's just an illegal move but the bishop here is actually doing a great job so knight g3 is actually a beautiful move queen to a2 here guys and here we go it's about to get crazy black to move what would you actually do in this position here we go guys monstrous move rook takes f3 it's on the board. It's there. What are you going to do with life now? Well, in this position, you literally have to take the rook because there's nothing else to do. So now you're just here. Now we have gone down this rabbit hole here and we have to go through it. No matter what happens, we don't know if we're going to come out dead or alive here. Let's see what happens. Rook takes F3. G takes F3. You got to have to, you have to take that there. And then we follow up with a strong move, especially if you do a sacrifice. You should always try to follow up with very strong moves. Sometimes you have quiet moves that you need to make or quiet connectors to make the whole combination work but here this is actually a very strong move queen f6 intending easy move queen f3 okay bishop b3 we have to get rid of this bishop this bishop is the problem piece on the board we have to get rid of it so we just move out of the way because our knight is hanging now lila chess plays knight to h5 and if we do remove the bishop here the f4 square is now forever ours it's going to be a long time for this knight to try to capture ours and if even a rook it's going to be hard to get this knight off of f4 and it's also delivering checkmating threats knight h5 E takes d5, intending pawn takes, and queen takes d5 with check. And Lila Chess Zero just moves out of the way. Hey, no checks for you. You can have a second pawn if you like. 97. And then Komodo's like, you're going to give it to me. I'm going to take it. I don't know what's going on here. Pawn takes e6, but this, this is blocked, so we don't have to worry too much about this. Here we go, guys. Queen h4, intending queen takes h3. Maybe rook f8, rook f5s, or knight f4s. This is about to get crazy here. Bishop takes a7. And should I take the bishop back or what should I play here in this position? Bishop takes a7 is on the board, guys. Most people just take the bishop back. I mean, take your piece, keep material even, but not Lila Chess zero. We don't care about material. Even Gary Kasparov says that uh, activity trumps material most times. So if your pieces are active, if your pieces are very active, material sometimes doesn't matter. You do need pieces to help with this win. But at the same time, if you have something better, when you find a good move, look for a better move, like Emmanuel Lasker says. Bishop takes a7 queen takes h3 guys nine f knight f4 is coming so you have to do something rookie four looks good that's what happens because knight f4 i'm just going to chop that knight and have a nice day because you got too many pieces over here attacking my king and then rook to f8 so now we're going to bring another piece into the game actually knight of fours all kind of things are happening now here knight to c4 was the move but actually i think bishop c5 according to stockfish was the best move here but knight to c4 and knight f4 okay it's it's coming guys it mates on the board we have to do something now instead of rook takes f4 what happened here was actually knight to e3 here's a beautiful move guys black to move have you done your tactics today puzzle rush all of that good stuff guys what would you do with the black pieces now black to move here we go, guys. A special move. Rook f5 and live. Rook f5 and live. If you take my rook, obvious reasons, queen to g2. And now we have a third piece in the game. Usually it takes two to three pieces. Usually three for a successful attack. Sometimes you need to sacrifice one. In this case, it would be the rook. And you mate with the other two, which is the knight and the queen. So the more pieces, the better here. But rook f5 is a beautiful move intending rook g5. Checkmate in a few here. So after rook takes f4, because he has to get rid of this rook, I'm going to play. What do you think you're going to play? What are you going to play? What are you going to play? Rook h5. I'm not going to take anything. I'm not going to take any piece on the board. I'm going to play rook h5 and we're live. Game's over. What do you do? Nothing. Queen to d5. Queen to d5. Giving up my queen was the best move I could find here, says Komodo. But it doesn't matter because queen h1 is checkmate and have a nice day. Beautiful game here. Another attacking monstrous engine genius game here. Guys, something that you can take away from this game again is absolutely using this f file like how Lila Chess did here. Beautiful. Sacrificing on f3. Playing queen f6 with a follow-up move. Not caring about material. 97. I mean, we sacrificed the rook. Then gave up two pawns. I mean, gave up a bishop here. <laughs> 
and destroyed. I mean, absolutely beautiful chess here. Sacrificing another piece, I mean, almost like Lila Chess and Tal are best friends. Absolutely. This is absolutely ridiculous here. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. And after Rook takes, instead of taking it back, like most people would, maybe when Rook takes or Pawn takes, Pawn takes, runs in a Knight takes. So the, maybe Rook takes. And Rook G5, Rook G4. But Rook H5, there's nothing to, you can do to stop the checkmate on H1. Beautiful. Even Rook H4, we just take it and go back to main here, guys. This was a beautiful game, a beautiful monstrous computer game that we watched here today, guys. And that is awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm National Master James Canty III here with Chess.com, and I'll see you guys on the next video.